guys, welcome back. Today I have another DIY video for you. Um, it's something I've seen on Pinterest. I've wondered if it's as easy as it looks and I decided to try it out. So with the help of my liquid painter's tape for my nails that I made in my previous video, um, I went to town and tested it out for you guys and I have the results. The results are in. The results that I saw were actually pretty quick and easy. Um, this might be a good Halloween tutorial for people who aren't, you know, into nail art or don't have a lot of time for Halloween nails. I get it. I'm there. I'm right there with you. All you need is a straw. It can be a bendy straw. It could be a little stirrer straw. It could be big, small, whatever. Just a straw. Something, a vessel that you can put air through and dip into things. You need a piece of paper. I ended up using this like really cool, it's called stone paper. It kind of feels like plasticky so the nail polish doesn't seep through, but I use that. Use this as your palette for the nail polish that you will be blowing onto your nails. <laughs> sounds crazy, I promise. It's not as weird or hard as it sounds. A red nail polish, this will be the blood, and a tan nail polish. I used Essie Saint Tropez and uh, what is it? Sally Hansen Cherry Red for my two colors. You can really use any what whatever combination you want. Um, one tip that I will give though is the red nail polish. It helps if it's a little thinner, so it goes on easier and it will dry faster for you to put on a top coat. So with that being said, let's get into the actual tutorial. So starting out, I'm just going to put a little bit of this liquid painter's tape that I made around each of my cuticles just to speed up the cleaning process a little bit. You'll find that later on I get red nail polish all over the rest of my hands, but what really matters is that cuticle area right around my nails. So I'm going to apply that. I don't have to wait for it to dry because of the fact that I'm not putting anything up onto my nails. Um, if I was, I would probably have to, but since I'm just splattering nail polish basically all over my hands, um, it doesn't really matter whether that liquid latex around my nails is dry or not. And then as soon as I'm finished, I will start with the red. So to do the red, I'm kind of just taking a little bit of the Sally Hansen nail polish um, and putting it on that piece of paper that I had set aside before. Um, you don't want to put too much because there's a good chance that it'll dry and it won't really get on your straw, which is what you want. Um, so a couple drops at a time, just keep going back and forth. Try a couple drops, dip your straw in, see if anything comes out. Just keep adding a couple drops at a time until you can find a system that works for you to create the blood splatter effect that you want. Um, and once you've finished your nails, you're going to take a tweezer or something like that and start pulling away the liquid latex from the cuticle area. You might want to do this as soon as you're done, that way you don't get the weirdness that comes with trying to pull liquid latex off while the nail polish is dry, then it kind of like gets stuck around your nail. And this is the finished effect. You can go for as messy or as clean and uniform as you'd like. So that's it. That's as easy as it is. Um, let me know if you try this. I'd love to see the results. Otherwise, until next time, see you guys in the next video.